Three, two, one, it's Broga time. What's up, guys? Hope everyone is feeling okay. If not, you probably just did all the workouts this week. I know it was a hard one, so we're gonna take care of our bodies. 20 minutes of Broga to loosen everything up. Sarah, how are you feeling today? A little broken. A little broken, yeah, I feel it. My lower back is tenderoni. All right, guys, uh, let's start. Let's put the ball down on the ground. Let's just reach up in the air. Give me a nice big back crack. Big inhale, reach up and back. Feel that spine doing stuff, and then give me a big exhale, reach down for the toes. We're gonna hang out here for a little bit. While you're here, you can kind of walk your legs up and back like so, getting a nice stretch in each individual calf and hamstring. But let your neck relax. Let those arms drape down towards the floor, and just breathe through your belly, in through the nose, out through the mouth. And let's drop down to the bottom of a squat. We're gonna do something crazy, starting off with some stripper deadlifts here. So go ahead and press into the floor. Super slow roll on the way up. Hit those hamstrings side to side. And think at five, four, three, two, one. Stand, reach, big inhale overhead. Crack that back. While we're up here, let's go ahead and shift to your left, our right. Feel that opposing side. And other side again, reach over, continuing to breathe. And one more time back to that original side, reach. And one more time over. And let's bring the hands here, right hand to your left ear and vice versa on the other side. Let's do a couple of brain yoga squats here. Give me a big inhale. We're gonna hold our breath on the way down. Hang out for a couple of seconds, maybe shift the hips side to side, doing what feels good. Then big exhale, stand up, inhale up top, and then roll it down nice and slowly, feeling your feet, feeling your lats, feeling your quads, feeling everything south of your neck here and standing up. You can kind of massage your ears while doing this, send some positive signals to the brain and body. Send it back down into that squat nice and deep. Hang out here, breathe. Go ahead and release your thumbs. Let's get our hands down to the floor. Let's get that right arm up in the air. Try to get your elbow by the ear. Really reach here, fight for it. We're gonna hold for 10 seconds, really reaching up, challenging that overhead squat mobility. And switch to the other side, same thing. 10 seconds reaching, trying to keep that elbow as close to your ear as you can, rotating the palm to the outside. And switch back to the original side, continuing to reach. Use your hand on the ground for a little bit of balance if you need it. Breathing, guys. And switch again. Breathe. Into the nose, out through the mouth. And let's go ahead and get both hands up here. Really reach up, challenge yourself here. 15 seconds on the clock. Imagine you have a heavy barbell overhead. That one rep max snatch. Keep holding, guys. We have five more seconds here. Four. Three, two, one, stand it up. Give me one more big exhale. Reach for the floor here, hands in between the legs. Let's take our legs for a walk here. So if you come out to the side, let's find that nice straddle position as wide as your legs will personally go. Guys, once you've found your maximum here, let's walk ourselves down to the float. Oh, hello. All right, guys, so use your hands kind of in the front and the back to try to push yourself as far forward as your anatomy will allow, using your heels on the ground to give you a little bit of a uh, placeholder. All right, guys, we're gonna hang out here for about two minutes. So everyone give me a big inhale, and then let's exhale and walk those fingers forward. So you wanna relax your neck here, and we are just breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. With every exhale, walk those fingers just a little bit further. And breathe here, guys. So let your eyes relax. Close them if you want to. Look at your floor if you want to. But with every inhale and exhale, just walk those fingers just a little bit further, even if it's just a little cuticle length. Also, if you feel like you've lost tension in your hips, you can continue to push yourself forward, really challenge that mobility, whatever that means for you.
guys doing great. Keep breathing here. Give a couple more big deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth. Walk as far forward as you can. And then let's go ahead and relax. Walk yourself backwards. Peel those legs. Hello. Oh, hello. Off the ground. Feel those hips snap, crackling, and popping. And let's go ahead and grab our lacrosse ball, whatever you have at home, and let's start to do our soft tissue work. All right. So while we're sitting on our booty, we're going to take care of our glutes and our lower back here. So let's do your left leg, our right. Ball's gonna come underneath that glute using your right foot as your plant foot here. And we're circling, exploring for areas where it does not feel so great. Chances are it feels bad everywhere, but once you find the least good area, we're gonna hang out there. Then we're gonna do some little butterflies here. So bring that knee up, then push it to the outside. Really reach, try to open up those hips up top, or at the bottom, I should say. Really reach to the outside, try to get that knee down to the ground. Maybe even push that right knee to the outside as well to open up those hips. And just breathe here. If you find that the area you're at feels not too bad, maybe move around a little bit, try to find a more troublesome area. All right, guys, from here, let's extend that left leg and then pull it back and across. Hello, your body. Oh, yeah. So this one's going to be a little bit more painful. This should feel through your glute, up into your hip, uh, potentially into your soul, <laughs> depending on how bad you feel after the last couple days. Oh, goodness. Oh. What hurts you the most today, do you think? Uh, my traps. Traps, yeah. Oh, God. But we got some problems in there. Yeah. We got some personal problems <laughs> in there, so. Some, I mean, that's the thing that sucks about your traps is, aside from like all the barbell stuff we do, like stress just carries yep. in the traps. So yeah. everything, all the bad stuff is there. That's why they call me Trap Nasty. Trap Nasty, coming 2021. All right, guys, let's switch to the other side. Uh, all right, guys, you know the deal here. So your right leg is, or your right glute has the ball under it. Left foot is the anchor foot, and we're searching for bad, bad, bad things. Once you find the Trap Nasty, or the Glute Nasty, then uh, bring it on in. Oh. What would be the uh, number one song on your album? Trap, <laughs> Trap Nasty's first album? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's, what's the first song? What is going to get you to the top of the Billboard charts? Pain Cave. Pain Cave, all right, all right. <laughs> A personal journey. Personal journey. Through squatting. All right, guys, go ahead and extend that leg, and let's pull it back and across the body. Ugh. Are you going to do the 20 rep back squat program once you finish uh, Yeezys? I think, uh, I think you would like it. I think you would like it a lot. <laughs> like you, you could definitely like once you're once you're ten reps in, like you definitely have to go to a place. You're like, okay, <laughs> take it out on the barbell. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I just started doing some some different programming. Yeah. To see how I like that. Go ahead, relax, guys. All right, next up, let's take care of the trap nasty while we're here. Uh, so for this guy, you know what to do. We're going. In that trap, so just below your shoulder there, right in the meat here, and lie down on top. Ugh. And you might have to kind of adjust yourself while you're down on the ground. It should not feel great, all right? Uh, once you're here, palm facing towards your body, we're gonna reach up and over the head and then try not to cry. <laughs> this actually feels better than last week, a little bit. I think it's because I made the classes yesterday do uh, barbell mashing with the uh, Bar after oh, finishing. Nice. Yeah, yeah. So I think I feel a little bit less bad than I would have if not. So take your time on these guys. Try to keep your elbow locked out and then reach overhead. What kind of programming have you been uh, dabbling in? Yeah, I saw you tagged him in one of your things. Yeah, and uh, like a lot of accessory work. Yeah. Does he program any gymnastics stuff? Yes. Cool. Yeah. A lot of, a lot of 
All right, guys, one more big one, and we're going to hold here over the head and let that trap get as nasty as you want it to here. So just breathe. Try to think happy thoughts the best that you can. Oh. And we are just breathing here, guys. Let the ball do stuff. Oh, this feels good and bad. Oh. So tonight's the uh, last presidential debate. That's exciting. Yeah, we're are you, are you gonna watch it? Uh, I will. Well, you, uh, you watched the last one, the, the train wreck. I didn't watch the town hall, the town halls. Well, you, yeah, you, you, you watched the one where they were both in yes. together, yeah. yeah. Alright guys, go ahead and relax. Free that trap. Oh, let's go ahead and dive into the other side. So, I just did my right, so whichever one you did not do yet, find that trap. This one should hopefully be a little bit more civilized, because it's moderated by NBC and not Fox News, um, and then and they, they have a rule now they're cutting off the um, other person's microphone when they're not talking. Oh. So, but I still think I, I still feel oh, like Trump is Trump is Trump, is Trump is still gonna talk. Oh yeah, but they, they'll just <laughs> at least his mic will be off. Yeah. You know what? But that's effective. It, I think a little bit it'll be effective. Yeah. When we were, it was amazing the stuff you could say on stage with your mic off. Yeah. <laughs> it was a phantom, so I, I, <laughs> I, I believe that it will be an effective tool. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, man. yeah, it might be a little bit of a mess for, I guess, for the people there, but I guess at home we won't be able to hear them. I hope. Yeah. I hope. <laughs> I hope. Because the majority is going to be the people at home. Yeah. I think that's right. Them. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, oh. the other people on stage going to be the mess. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. wow. Yeah. Found, some, found the trap nasty. Yeah, well, I'm finding that... Finding it like kind of right by your neck, oh. you go a little further down, like yeah. kind of into your shoulder blade, yeah. still a trap, yeah. still, and, and even more nasty. Yeah, and yeah. It, and then if you, you know, get your butt off the ground, it puts a little more pressure. Oh, hello. Yeah. Oh, that's 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 where the pain cave comes. Yeah, this is a, this is deep emotional suffering right here. <laughs> we're building right? character. Oh god. <laughs> All right, guys, let's get that arm up and over the head, and we're just gonna hold there. So find that nastiest spot and let uh. If you kind of feel like, if it's on your left side, you kind of feel like your your jaw on that side, like yeah. lighting up a little bit. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ah. Ah. Oh. A few more seconds here, guys. Three, two, one, and free that trap. Oh, hello. All right. Let's flip on over. Uh, next up, we're going to hit our pecs. We did some push-ups and dips on Tuesday. So let's get right in the business here, right into your pec. We're gonna lie down on top. Hopefully this does not feel as bad as your trap. Oh, yeah. hello. Oh yeah. So, uh, kind of play with your hand position here. I would start with your palm down. You kind of just go side to side until you find something bad. And then you can kind of rotate your palm up and down and just try to feel something. <laughs> and once you find that bad stuff, just kind of hang out there, breathe into it. Uh, kind of like Sarah said on the last one, you can give yourself a little bit more leverage if you want to go up onto your toes oh, oh, and really go into there. That's, that's brave. <laughs> it is. It's brave. My, my, my belly is still on the ground, but I just lifted my legs up, but it does not feel great. Yeah, I don't. I, I think I'd cry if I lifted my belly off the ground. <laughs> 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 It'd be like a, a crying and laughing, which would be you know, deeply disturbing. Typical. 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 Typical trap nasty. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. That's it, guys. Just hang out here and breathe. Yeah, my chest was sore over the weekend. I benched for the first time on Friday when you had to spot me for failing my 300-pound bench press. <laughs> a little bit sore in the chest over the weekend. Oh, all right, guys, go ahead and relax. Let's hit the other side. Yeah, if you want to really be sore um, from benching, just go for a weight that you end up failing because that's the sure way. It's a surefire way to be sore as hell yeah. the next day. <laughs> yeah. Oh, just kind of like destroy your CNS a little bit. But in, you know, like a, a light way. In a light way. It was, it was only 300 pounds. It was only 300 pounds. Only 300 pounds. Oh. I think the, the back squat program has been more detrimental to my CNS. Oh, and I, I, absolutely. And that, and that was just kind of like the, the, the cascading effects of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Everything has felt heavier in the last uh, two and a half weeks. Even walking, my dogs. <laughs> <laughs> it's so heavy. Yeah. Just breathe here. Use your legs. Play with your hand position. Do what you gotta do. 
All right, a couple more seconds here, and let's relaxy paxy. Let's go back to that original side. Let's hit that shoulder. So not your pec, that anterior deltoid for any science fans out there. Oh, hello, yes. We've done a few things this week. A couple of thrusters, a couple of push-ups, a couple of red squats. A couple, oh, oh man. Did um, Max Elling do the workout last night? How fast did he do it? 731. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. I think as long as people just stuck to the strategy you gave them, they would be fine. Yeah, most people didn't. <laughs> but that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> we don't give you guys the advice for us. It's for you. I even I was even told people I was like, listen, if you would stick to my plan. You can even rest for an entire minute. Yeah, yeah. And still, still finish. Yeah. You can rest for three minutes and still and finish. And still finish, yeah. but you just have to work those nine minutes. Yep. <laughs> Go ahead and relax, guys. Other side, get up in there. So everybody has, uh, everyone's a superhero in that first round. Feel great. Pick up that bar, feeling fresh. Yeah. And then a few hang power snatches later, you're like, oh. oh. May have been a mistake. Yeah. Milk was a bad choice. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, it's when it's the, it was usually the people who were like, "Oh, I did my my eight power snatches. Oh, I could do another seven. <laughs> and then yeah. we had to do three more burpees, and then it was like, "Oh, oh <laughs> no, oh no, please help." Oh man, but that's okay. That's all right. You gotta learn. You gotta, you gotta learn. learn. You gotta learn. I people used to tell me all kinds of stuff when I was a youth. Mm -hmm. When I when I was new to the training world, I was kind of. Go ham every workout. Yeah. Try to PR every workout, and then I broke myself in half. So yeah. try to learn from our mistakes so that you don't have to break yourself in half. It's not fun being able to walk. Nobody ever good. gave me advice about how to go slower. <laughs> really? No. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> because you were training around a bunch of uh, crazies. They, yeah. I was I was the crazy amongst the people that I was training with. Yeah. But it was good though because yeah. I was like, okay, this is. Yeah. There are there are whole levels of pain that I haven't even <laughs> tapped into yet. <laughs> All right, guys, go ahead and relax. Let's hit our tricep next. So, ball's going to go down. You're going to go just uh, above your elbow here. Kind of roll side to side. Find wherever it feels nasty. We're going to hit this one pretty quickly. Just give me like 10 to 15 little bicep curls, curls. here. Yeah. Curls. Feel free, to, curls. feel free to kiss your bicep. Ah, doing such good work. There it is. <laughs> Gentle kiss. Oh, God. Delicate. Yeah, found some stuff in there. Ah, hello. Hello. I haven't even used you yet this week. Well, I mean... Really? You use them on dips and push-ups and burpees and holding the bar for overhead squats and thrusters. Go ahead and switch to the other side. You use it for a lot of stuff. You just don't do any like direct tricep yeah, yeah. isolation. Yeah. We'll start bringing back some tricep pull downs. Ooh. Some accessory work. I love the tricep. I want to make next week a little bit less terrible for the one person watching right now. So Chris, you have the inside scoop. Next week's not going to be as bad. <laughs> the whole the whole way. <laughs> Some some things will be bad, but some will be bad. I'll, we'll do some we'll do some imams so that there's some built-in rest, yeah. nice and casual, but can't promise that every day. Yeah, yeah. Cool. And I feel like Tuesday is always a pick your own how hard you want to go day. All right, yeah. guys, go ahead and relax. All right, we're gonna hit our quads really quickly. We're gonna go right to the the nastiest part. We're gonna go right into the middle of the thigh here on the outside and get up in there. Oh yes. Oh hello. Yeah, yeah. Oh. We got guys gonna do turbo legs here. My time cap is approaching. <laughs> uh, all right, walk it down to just above your knee on the inside. Same thing, get up in there. Bend and extend that leg. We're doing 10 reps here. And then for anyone at home, if your legs feel particularly bad, if you want to come back and do a few more reps here once we're done, that is your prerogativo. It sounds like, based on what people are saying in class, if you're watching, you probably should do a few more reps. Just, just a few, just a few. All right, guys, go ahead and relax. Let's hop it over to the other side. Same thing, starting on the middle of your thigh, on the oot side. The oot side, for my Canadian friends. Oh, hello, mm. hello. So uh, Angela made uh, a uh, maple syrup pie for Canadian Thanksgiving, Aww. 
Oh. And um, I've eaten most of it. <laughs> How many had a, days ago did she eat uh, it? I guess it was like a week and a half ago. So we were, we were like kind of responsible. Okay. We didn't eat it all. At it wasn't like three city. days. Yeah, you know. yeah. But I but I ate a lot of it last night. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm bringing it up because yeah. last night I ate. La it. Last <laughs> night there I ate like a like a quarter. I think it was like a quarter of it last night. <laughs> I ate that last night. Yeah. All right, guys, go ahead and relax. Let's hit that just above your knee on the inside. It's very good. Tasted like a. Uh, have you ever had a butter tart? No. That's another Canadian thing. Um, but it's it's pretty much just like a little baked thing that's like this big and it's just like a little it's like a little miniature pie but it just has like maple syrup and some other good sugary things in it. Is it kind of like a bear claw? Um no. That's no. the only like no. Canadian dessert I can remember. That no. I had. Cuz a bear claw is like a pa like a um kind of like a Pastry like a donut kind of thing almost. Yeah. Yeah. But very maple syrupy. If this call for the it, the like. the the butter tarts is more of like a little a miniature pie. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right, guys, go ahead and relax. All right, free yourself from the floor and from the lacrosse ball. Let's finish it off. Bottom of a squat, turbo stretch, right hand down, left hand up, or whatever side you're on, reach. And switch. And switch. And last time, switch. Both hands go up. Three, two, one, yas. All right, awesome job, guys. Hope you guys feel better. Feel free to hit any of those extra areas where uh, you're feeling a little bit more nasty. Have a great day. We'll see you guys for Cleaning Jerks. Bye. Bye. Thanks for tuning in, Chris. Great job.